Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable TPM on your Windows 10 computer. So, what we want to do is go to the uh, start right here, go to settings, and we're going to launch our computer into the BIOS menu. So, let's go on over to Windows and Update. Go to the right and go to Advanced Options now. Go down and go to Recovery. Then go to Advanced Startup and Restart Now. And this is going to launch your computer into a blue screen where we can go to the BIOS menu really easy instead of having to press like some delete key, F9, F12, etc. on our keyboard at the right time. All right, so you're going to see this screen and it's going to say, please wait. Uh, just let it go ahead and think. And once it gets done, the blue screen will launch. But if you ever need to get into this real quick, when you restart your computer, you can see it right here. It says uh, press the delete key when it's restarting. Now under this blue screen, let's go to Troubleshoot. Go to Advanced Options, UEFI for more settings, and then go to Restart. So this way is just a lot easier. You don't have to quickly press a button. All right, so here is the BIOS. Uh, what we want to do is go on over to uh, one of these options under here, and we're looking for something called uh, Trusted Computing, TPM, uh, something along those lines, maybe with 2.0. If you need to enable Secure Boot, it's under BIOS, and you have to disable the CSM support if you're trying to install Valorant or something, and then Secure Boot will be an option down here. Let's go on over to Peripherals, and I can see the option is Trusted Computing 2.0 on my Gigabyte motherboard, so let's go on over here. Yours could be something different. Um, it's probably going to have Trusted in there, and maybe 2.0. So let's just click on this. And then enable it under here so you can see TPM 2.0 device found. I have enabled right here a security device support enabled. And then we have these other options down here. So just enable it. Once you find the setting, go to save and exit right here. You might have to use your keyboard to press enter and then go to yes. And this will restart your computer and you should be able to launch Valorant or something now. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up.